<gasps> steal the, steal the, steal the, the batteries. Okay, hold on. We're gonna, we gotta try this. We have to. Anybody watching me? <laughs> Just be cool, dog. Be cool about it. I can't run anymore. I'm encumbered. Everybody be cool. Yo, all right, everybody. We are back for a follow-up to, at least to me, could be one of the most impressive survival sandbox games I have ever played. And I'm not talking about, like, you know, post-apocalypse zombie survival game, uh, you know, frozen tundra survive in the winter. This is, like, legitimately just a realistic survival game. Some people in the comments of the first video said it reminds them a lot of changes in 3D. And you're right. It does actually have that change homeless survival type of thing to it. I mean, we're not technically homeless, although when you think about it, so we have the option to sleep in the streets if we can't afford staying at this homely hostel every single night. So in many ways, yes, we're kind of almost homeless. Now, if you guys got the last video, in case not, upper right corner, click that, come on back. Um, we got a job from Auntie. The broker lady who got us a job at um, working as a security guard. The problem, though, that I figured out here is that we don't have the skills for that. Security guard requires, um, you know, points up here. But in order to do security guard, we need to level up again and then put in a point and negotiate and then put one up in security guard. So until we can level up, we can do that. So for now, we're going to have to bypass it. One thing that's as well that I did notice is that we are a stinky stinky boy we're also a little bit hungry uh let's see about buying some fried dough to start off with here we are broke but it is what it is we gotta eat otherwise we shall die you know humans need food and water to survive wow now i stink completely oh my god you can even see it now i'm emitting foul odors from my body doggo will you hate me because i stink every single time we pass by this dog we gotta get a pat in unfortunately it gives you a couple of stat boosts as well, so it's fine. I don't mind it. Yeah. Always take time to spend with the dog. This guy apparently makes um, keys. If you lose your keys, or I guess if it's stolen, you gotta get a copy. This game is very in-depth. I'm actually quite excited about this game. It really sucks that I can't play it beyond the Steam Fast demo limitation. But it is what it is. Um, do I got some stuff to sell to Miss Kwang? What are those over there? They didn't ask that last time. Seems to be new junk. Oh, those battery packs for electric bikes. Are they legal? I mean, you just don't find brand new packs in the dump. I don't know and I don't care. Bring them over if you have any. I'll pay you good money. <gasps> so we could steal battery packs from the bicycles? Uh, yeah. So, um, people also mentioned Falcon. Why are you selling stuff under the average? I mean, dog, I'm playing a demo. Hey, you know, it's limited time. I'm just looking to get enough money to actually get some stuff happening for us on screen. So yeah, if I'm selling stuff under the average, that's perfectly fine. If I'm playing the full version where I'm trying to min-max stuff, yeah, it's fine. Then I'll be like, you know, I can't sell that right now. But at least for now, at the moment, you know, literally, beggars <laughs> can't be choosers, as they say. So this is where we could um, give ourselves a shower out here in the open. I'm sure some isn't a love coming over here to take a sip of water after they see me just brushing my entire filthy body now. Oh, there's a chance to get sick. Ooh. Must work even if tired. We're not tired though, are we? When you eat, it makes a difference. Eat well. Uh, so that's why we've been getting depression points, I guess. I mean, we have been eating, technically speaking, but we've been eating like this junk food. I guess at some point we need to get like a home cooked meal or go to a restaurant or something instead of just buying all this junk food in the streets. Mr. Cow. So Mr. Cow is the guy who runs his construction business. Um, I'm cool with him because um, he showed up after one of my gig, after one of my jobs, and he was like, "Hey, I lost my wallet," you know, quote unquote. Can you hook me up with some money? And I was like, "Uh, I mean, sure, I'll do it." Turned out this random guy was the owner of the construction business, so what he's done for me now is I no longer have to go to the broker to get a job. I've cut the middleman off, so I don't have to pay the broker a little bit of fee to get this job. Now I get it, you know, get the entire full shebang to myself. And um, here he is. Anything new from you, Mr. Cal? Relations plus two, perfect. Here's the money I owe you. Oh, really? Let's continue playing it suave with the owner of the construction site. You don't have to, it's nothing really. No, it's not, take it. And what was your WhatsApp name? I'll send a friend request. Don't bother, not worth your trouble. After a lengthy competition of trying to be bigger man, you did accept Mr. Cow's money. You know what? Bring your own gloves and hard hat next time. I mean, for proper protection. Those job issue ones are crap. He points to the row of peddlers behind you. Thank you, I'll buy my own. You know what? As a matter of fact, my dude, um, 
I actually already have them. I bought them um, after my first day here because I it's sad that I could get injured doing this construction job, so I already have them. Okay, so doing this automatically obviously will make it quicker for us, but you don't get enough money. So I'm going to do this manually. I'm going to cut back in after I'm done so we get more money so we can you know, actually afford things. Okay, so uh, job completed. I got a little extra money by doing it myself, but apparently on the job I had a quarrel with a co-worker over a trivial stuff and my anger went up by 40. So I got to probably go to the park and let off some steam, unfortunately. Hygiene, cleanliness, and relations up to 60. Job skill, experience next level 8. Oh, did not get what we needed to get the security guard thing unlocked just yet, unfortunately. Okay. Good luck with that, I'm off with some video games. Hey, you and me both, buddy. Uh, are we hungry? Yes, I can't run anymore. Let's hook ourselves up with a combo meal here for raid. Press plus 10. Oh, God. Every single time, I just want to have a meal without necessarily looking depressed. Yo, people are just dancing over here. Dancing auntie? Those aunties occupy the basketball court every day at sundown. The rub beat of music and moves to make your dance muscles kind of itchy. Okay. Dancing auntie? A group of aunties doing some kind of happy dance. Join them, ask them to leave nicely. <laughs> Excuse me, I understand that you guys over here are just minding your own business, having a good time. But could you leave, please? I'm asking you nicely. Problem? Alright. What does this do for us? I got no clue. And here we go. Ah! Stop it! <laughs> no! Okay. I was, in my mind, I was like, I'm doing so good. I think I got myself. I got too deep into my head, but then they started getting way too many arrows. You played yourself. Now, if you don't mind, aunties, I'm gonna come over here and just pick up some of this. Um, how much time do we have before I wind up slipping in the streets? Uh, you know, under three hours. And kiddos? Are you just watching the aunties? Yeah, there probably is a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of auntie milfs in it. Uh, let's go and only hostile. Remember, we're gonna spend, we still gotta pay 100 to the loan shark daily. But we're gonna also have to spend, I think, 40 for the room to myself. But this is gonna have a simple bathroom and laundry, so we'll be able to clean our clothes and also not worry about getting sick, I imagine, so. We got a key card. Ooh. Look at my boy moving up in the world. Homely hostile dedicated. Okay, and we're getting blown up by obviously the loan shark, pay our hundred. Is what it is. Good boy, don't speak to me like I'm a dog. Listen, I'll spare you this daily reminder and in return you just keep paying the interest on Saturday, steal. <gasps> okay, that's actually better. For some reason it feels a lot better for me to just do like one lump sum payment than like, you know, a hundred every single day. It gives me a chance to like, you know, earn up for like maybe something I'm trying to save up to. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah, if we do the things on Saturdays, I like it. Good, taking it like a man. Yeah, yeah. Scumbag. So, even though we have our own room... Ooh, nice. We got our boost right there. So even though we got a room, uh, Auntie still apparently records this. I wonder if there's still a chance for us to get mugged in our room. Hopefully not. I'm also gonna buy some hot buns this time. First experience with the hot bun. No depression points this time. So I think if you maybe do the same food over and over, it makes the depression go up. Maybe, you know, variety is the spice of life after all. Is this buddy? Express service. What do you mean, buddy? This is the only express delivery service in the slum. It's overflowing with parcels of all sizes. Ooh, I'm not gonna get a job here. Ooh, another cutie. Zoon Jr. <laughs> Alright, who's the senior? Could you check for me if there's any packages for me? No. No packages for me. Hmm. There are some machines in front of the grocery store. One of them is the good old slot machine. Try your luck. Give it a spin. I don't want to gamble right now. I got a little bit of money. Well, 
It'll give me a reward probably for doing it. Oh, 10. Okay, I'm only doing 10 credits, man. I got I got bills to pay, my dude. Uh, for one yen, you get 10 credits made of progress. Uh, I see. So each one is 10, huh? Give me the seven sevens. Give me the bar. Give me the star. Go big or go home, as they say, right? <gasps> oh, no. A happy game. You took 10 of my yen away for no reason. I better get some good rewards for this. Smart and deaf. Fine, I'll take it. Ugh, what a waste. Roasted nuts. Yeah, that that gotcha game just roasted my nuts, let me tell you. <gasps> steal the steal the steal the, the batteries. Okay, hold on. We're gonna we gotta try this. We have to. Okay. Be cool, dog. Anybody watching me? <laughs> just be cool, dog. Be cool about it. Oh we got it! I can't run anymore, I'm encumbered! Okay, that's fine. No, 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 everybody be cool. That door is ajar. Should I get on the bike and go sell? Oh, the door is ajar. I gotta, I gotta look in there. Oh, I can't even see. It's too dark. Okay, it's fine. Where's the bike? Where's the bike? Sure, the bike? That one might have a lock. It has a lock. Where's the non-lock one? That one. Okay, just just be cool, dog. <laughs> this, better, this better be some good money. I'm, I'm breaking the law here now. That's how bad things have gotten. If only you knew how bad things really were. Uh, selling some junk and the battery. Ooh, 91 each. Let's go. Oh my God. He's done it. This absolute mad lad. All right. We got six piles moved. We leveled up too. perfect. Three points. We could do security guard guard now because we using it two more. Perfect. And, um, uh oh, something happened to the job. I'm insecure. What happened? Why am I insecure? Why am I insecure. We made some good money today, though. 147 on top of the 100 that we got from that, you know, battery pack and the stuff that we sold. Oof. What a good day. <laughs> what a good day for us. 300, let's go. Why am I insecure, though? Who knows? Uh, security guard. So, more than likely, we won't have enough time to do that today. But, hey, uh, have we have we gotten food from you? Because I think I need to spy. Uh, yeah, cheap-ass noodles. Uh, it doesn't sound too appealing, but um, don't get me depressed. It gave me depression. Damn it. Okay, so in case you're wondering, I picked up a uh, negotiate, obviously, to open up security guard. So I got security guard and flyer boys. So obviously that's going to be a job we'll be doing tomorrow for sure. And if we go back to the um, job board, I guess now we can do the flyer jo uh, flyer boy jobs that we couldn't do beforehand as well. So I think um, I got a lot of stuff stored up. Let's get our own room for the night so we clean up and we're not smelling disgusting at the security guard job. Okay, so we're in day six now. Let's see what's happening here. I got an exclamation mark. Why? Am I carrying too many things? I, I got stuff to sell for sure. Um, and I do plan to do that. But today's going to be a security job. I also saw a bigger meal that I want to try out. I saw like fried rice. And like, you know, if I'm over here, like, I'm worried about this in particular, this satisfaction thing that apparently keeps going down no matter what I eat. Maybe fried rice is something that could help us out. Um, don't pick up trash when we're into a new job. I don't want to be stinking already. This guy sold fried rice over here. So maybe fried rice. Huge portions for 13. First time experience with fried rice. Did it go up here? Giggity, giggity. No. Is this a security job? This is a new development in need of maintenance staff. Okay. It is. Manager, can I help you? I'm looking for possible jobs. We need security guards. Yes, I'm here for that. Oh, nine hour job. Okay. High keen is ideal for this job. And minimum hygiene 40. You have 99. Well, I just had my own room, so that helped out quite a bit. I will do this myself. I'm curious as to what the job here is going to inquire. Bad idea. Uh, what they say? Tell residents from outsiders. So outsiders will... Well, what's, what's the difference? What are they... I don't know. Okay. How do I stop him, by the way? Correctly identify residents now that are five times. These rich folks won't even recognize something missing if I'm... Rich folk? Yeah, I think you're uh, poor. <laughs> like, uh, what? No! Oh. It's a quiet day at work and I get to leave early. Nice. How the hell... Oh no, the bonus. 
It's the check-in on Grandpa Day? I, I right-click, though. I right-click. Look at a rich neighborhood. Today's going to be my payday. Intercept. Okay. So, <laughs> they can't speak ill of the rich. Man, I'm so lost. What is this place? I think we have to intercept you. Okay, so only let the high-class people in. Anybody speaking sketchy or ill? You gonna try this new rich folks? Intercept? Yes, okay. I'm gonna get no bonus off of this, but I, I had no idea. This place has good potential, plenty of rich residents. Intercept. So I think we just have to intercept everybody, literally? So dizzy, it's a miracle I made it home alive. Get out of here. What? What did I even have to do with anything? I need one more. Hurry. Finally home, I was able... Oh, yeah, yeah. Let him pass, let him pass, let him pass. Oh, just in the nick of time. We got no bonus. As a matter of fact, they're taking money away from us. The pay is 170, which is, uh... You know, I guess once we level it up, it'll probably be higher than, you know, working the construction. Plus, there's a chance I'm not getting hurt, although with construction, we'll work five hours as opposed to nine. I don't know, I'm very confused about how to tell people apart. So, if they're speaking of just getting home, you let them in? I don't really explain it too well to you, but whatever. So, that's done. Um, okay. Look at our money. Look at our money. But, speaking of which, we have to pay homeboy, uh, at least 200 or 300? I think 200 should be it, right? Because I didn't pay last time and then this time, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that was a... Satisfaction? How do I treat this? What's up here? Before I go straight home right now, we got a couple of hours. Oh, we have a, a Mad Connolds. <laughs> a Mad Connolds. Um, what about a burger? Would a burger give me some satisfaction? Finally, I think I'm at 31 right now, right? I think we said 31. Have a burger. I'm hungry anyway. <gasps> satisfaction! Okay. So apparently... To raise satisfaction, we got to eat from restaurants, none of the, the, the outside food stands. Which seems kind of very weird to me, you know, I'm just trying to support mom and pops, you know? What's happening here? I want to go to the club, though. Yo, dog, how do I get in the club? You can't get into a... Yeah, asking the wrong person here. Hey, can we steal ourselves another battery pack, by the way? Because if so, I got some things to sell, so I'd like to go sell some things. <gasps> ah! Ooh! Hello, ladies. Girl. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> that's what I figured. A woman in a miniskirt is waiting expectantly under a dim street lamp. The lighting is far from ideal. You can't tell that's a thick crust of powder or just bone pale skin. You're not really painting the most pleasant picture of her here. Want to have some fun, handsome? Just 400? A lot. Do you guys offer any discounts here for the poor? A girl in black dress is playing with her phone all in a dark alley. She's slim and very pretty. You have no idea what she's bothered with prostitution. She should have any man she wants. Oh, this one's looking pretty good. 400. Okay, look, girls. Here's the thing. I'm going to steal. You guys don't say anything. If you ever want me, I'm overloaded. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. I mean, you know what? You know what? Okay. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. Um, this demo's ending. Well, I mean, I can't play beyond today. I'm just about done with the entire video anyway. I could have gotten done the flyer job, but... Let's, uh... Let, let's, let's spin the 400. Just see what happens. N not you, though. No, 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 no. Not you. I want to go with the one that apparently... You know what? I didn't speak to the one at the bottom, right? At the end, right? Any difference with you? In the depth of the alley is a girl in Japanese school uniform. You learn not to trust the uniform. <laughs> but in the dim light, you can't see your face clearly. Do you love me, Oni-san? Well, the voice is young for sure. Barely in the... <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna go with the one that apparently looked like she she was better off than, you know, being working the streets here. So, sure. Let's go, honey. Look at this, dude! Yeah, this is a homeless man, you're telling me. Look at this, dude! Oh, so that's what the ajar door is about. 
<laughs> well, what did it, it increased our coolness, right? And something else. I don't know what else it increased, but all right. Was it worth it, Falcon? No, <laughs> not in the bid because uh, we got to pay three hundred apparently by tomorrow night, <laughs> and I don't have enough for it. So no, it was not worth it. I still got some things to sell, but it's not gonna pay off. Either way, um, I wanted to do it just because I'm technically done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I've mentioned, this is something I'm definitely going to come back to once the full game is ready or it releases into early access or maybe we get another extended demo release. Who knows? But it's definitely something I'm thoroughly enjoying. Um, You know what, too? Let's sleep in the street. Just, just to see what happens. You know, might as well experiment now that we're technically done, right? Uh, let me sell everything I got here. How do I make... Oh, end day. Here we go. You haven't found one when they place to sleep. Uh, right. Well, I mean, do I, can I at least, like, find a bench? Oh, the park gets closed at night. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I was like, there was a couple of benches I was hoping we could, like, slip into. All right. Let's just sleep in the street, see what happens. Terrible mood. Unwell. Hygiene. Neatness goes down. Yeah, not really good. Yeah. Definitely spare the 20 to at least get the shared room at the hostel. Hey, boy. They told me you were doing a great job in the security boot. Oh, did they? I think they lied to you. I guess. Thank you for the lead. Anytime they need security guard again, you just didn't apply. No broker fee is not through me. Y really? Nice. Can I get a copy of the employer's list that you're keeping? <laughs> oh, come on, Granny. Come on. Or Auntie, whatever. Okay, whatever. Flyer Boy. Yeah, we unlocked that job, too. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. It's actually great. I am definitely looking forward to another release of this. I'll catch you next time.